it's time for you to look at yourself to see if you're doing what is required of you to open your spirit, to receive of the greater spirit, to shed more of your light and love. This is all of us. And it's not just on occasions of bombing of uh, objects of the material world, because eventually they're all going to go away anyway. And our bodies are going to go away also. And you people, thank you for just showing up. There's a big something happens in the spirit world when we bring our material body and our spiritual body together and we focus it towards that object that is the unification of the world into the spirit and the spirit into the world, knowing full well they can never be the same. The only thing that's the same in both of them is who we are as a spiritual being. And it is through that that we pray, not through our ego or through our body, but through that that is the telephone between both worlds, who we are as a being. Lord God, Father of lights, you've seen it, you know it. Attempt to give us the wisdom and understanding that we may withdraw from the pain of suffering and enter into the wisdom of your glory on why we are here and why all this took place. Illuminate our ignorance so we may not judge erroneously from that ego that knows little. Lord, help us not to discriminate against the living because of those who are the dead. For the dead were told to bury themselves, and for the living to live and follow the anointing of the oneness of the Spirit. We ask that this, to each one individually as they step forward, as they choose to bring forward greater love and light into this world. Father, help us step aside any revenge. Let the revenge be the Lord's, as he said. Let us be the share takers and share givers and the lovers of life and the lovers of those who died and those who took life, for they didn't know what they did or they wouldn't have done it. And Father, help us not judge them in their ignorance nor us in our ego, but let us come into harmony with a living and those who are no longer materially alive. Let them come into the fullness of their own creation. And Father, let us stand in the face of our fear. Let us stand in the face of those who would do good, in the face of those who would do bad equally to us. And let us just love them. Let us ring forward the sound of your love and the light of your light and the glory of your being. Bless those who are here at this time, because once again, they chose themselves to put their body on the line and bring their holy, holy, which is the soul, forward and to present it to us. Lord, we know we'll be hit at by negativity because of what we say and do here. Lord, that's fine with us we will still live to present ourselves before God as those who have learned and those who have shared and those who have loved and those who have cared and those who will continue to place themselves forward in light. We will not end this prayer, Father. We will not say amen. We will do nothing except to continue on. But in this I, and I ask others just to, in their heart of hearts, say thanks. And we continue on with this service in memorial, not to the dead. They're memorized already in the hearts. They're memorialized in the materiality that has gone before them. But for those of us who are left to suffer, to see, to hear the pains, to know that our suffering is our missing of that that is a beloved. So seek more 
to place your belovedness inside of us, to let us share and cross the barrier of the physical and spiritual into the heavens, where we may all once again be united, where we may know the promise has been fulfilled. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father.